think for people in my generation, I listen to my elders talk about um, the violence they experienced at residential school and all the things that weren't a part of our culture that they learned there. Well, I think a lot of times when you're working in and with communities and with people, and there's, there's often so much passion. But in my generation and younger, we look at our elders and our own family and the violence that they picked up from those schools and brought home. But when you're bringing everybody in together as a group, it can be smooth or there can be some dysfunction. They really internalized it and it's still been bouncing around in our communities. Um, the elders here in Squamish have said that those things don't belong in our culture and they realized their, their role in bringing it, bringing it home to us, bringing it to our households. It was really a great opportunity for us to sit and open up some of the dialogue and um, throw away some of the fears and, uh, and be able to get messy with some of the things that we were trying to talk about. And the lesson I learned from that is that I'm probably also part of that lateral violence. And there's things that I'm doing, um, sometimes without understanding the effects of it, there's things that I can do to change that and stop that for the next generation. You don't want to sort of internally be saying, oh, you know what, or, you know, do they think I'm doing this? Do they trust me? Do they not trust me? Do they, do they want my help? And, and just being able to not being afraid to ask for what it is that you want and what it is that you need.